guys, how's it going? It's Michaela, aka Sneaker Queens Customs, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you everything that I use to customize sneakers. So I've been painting on sneakers for three years now, and these are all the products that I use on a daily basis that I absolutely cannot go without. Now, if you are new to customizing and this list seems overwhelming, there are a few products you can go without at first as you build up your supply stash over time. So let's just get to it. So first on my list, we have sandpaper, and that's gonna really rough up the leather and give something the paint to adhere to. There is a lot of different grits in sandpaper, so I found using 400, 800, and then 1400 is a great combination. Then we're gonna move to acetone or Angelus leather prepare and deglazer. This removes the factory finish on the shoes so you can apply the paint correctly. Next, you're gonna need something to apply the acetone with. So I like to use cotton pads. You can use cotton balls, but I find that the pads leave less fibers behind on the edges of the shoes. You can also use an old rag or a cloth. It's really personal preference. It doesn't have to be specific. Next, you're gonna need a heat gun, which is not only very necessary to help speed up the drying process, but also when you're painting on fabric shoes, such as Vans, because you're gonna have to mix that paint with Too Soft, and that has to be heat set. Next up is tape. I like using masking or painter's tape. This is great for blocking off sections of the shoe that you don't wanna get paint on, of course. And you can also use this tape to make your own stencil stencils, which I have a tutorial on on my Instagram page. So if you don't like the tape method for making stencils, you can also use transfer paper, so having a roll of that around is always nice. Along with the tape, you're also going to need a great sharp X-Acto knife, preferably one with a cover on it unlike me, but um, <laughs> Angelus has some X-Acto knives on their site. One of the questions that I get asked the most is what kind of paint do I use, and of course the answer is always going to be Angelus Direct. They have the largest variety of paint colors and types and they really are the industry standard. So they have one ounce bottles and four ounce bottles and they go all the way up to a gallon if you need that. Angelus has a bunch of different lines of paint such as neons, glitters, metallics, and even a collector's edition line which is the perfect color match to your favorite pair of Jordans. With the paints you're also sometimes going to be needing to use additives such as Too Soft which is used for fabric and you mix that with the Angelus paint paint and then heat set with the heat gun and that keeps the paint soft and flexible and non-cracking. Paint palettes are also an essential along with a good container to store water to clean your brushes off with. This one I got off of Amazon. I of course decked it in Angela's stickers but it has different compartments for paint and dry brushes and then it also has a textured bottom for you to clean your brushes off with like when you're in the process to really get that paint off and then in the lid it also has compartments for paint. For paint brushes Angelus of course has a great line of paint brushes from super large and chunky to really cover those complete shoe panels to really really tiny for all those small details. They also have different types of brushes for whatever paint technique you're needing to use. So unlike me, you're gonna actually wanna take care of your brushes. So Angelus has a great brush cleaner and you can also actually add it right to your water bucket to really clean your brushes between each use. Life hack. Along with brushes, believe it or not, you can actually also use toothpicks to get those really thin lines. I personally don't like using toothpicks, but I think it's something every sneaker artist should try at least once. It's like part of the experience, I feel like. So it's definitely personal preference. I just don't like using them. If you don't like using the toothpicks for actual painting, you can also use them to clean up dried paint off of the midsoles. Another product I like to use for the cleanup process are these alcohol wipes. They clean up paint off of leather and midsoles really nicely and they are honestly a must have. Pointed Q-tips are also a wonderful product for getting into the crevices of sneakers with acetone. They work so much better than regular chubby Q-tips to get into those really tight sneaker crevice spaces. So when you are making a special paint mixture to get that perfect color match, you're gonna want little plastic jars. There's something sometimes you just forget, so I wanted to make sure I added them. So this is not something I use on the daily, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. Angelus has a line of dye that works Works great for actually dyeing midsoles since you cannot, I repeat, you cannot paint 
on rubber soles or midsoles. It's not gonna last no matter what tricks you think you know, it is not gonna stay on the soles and your customer or yourself are gonna be really upset. Now, if you're just using the shoe as a display piece not to be worn, go ahead, paint up the soles, have fun. But if they're gonna be wearing them, do not paint the soles, period. Rit Dye also has a line of dyes called Dye More, and they work great for dyeing your sneakers, along with the Angelus Leather Dye, and some shaving cream if you want to try one of those viral marbling trends, which I've also done on my page if you want to check that out. So for sealing in your paint once you are finished, which is an absolute essential step, you're going to want to use Angelus's new collection of finishers called Four Coats. They are a really nice line of finishers. They had another one where you had to mix it with Dolor and other things, but this one you can use straight out of the bottle and they have a bunch of different sheens from matte to high gloss. So if tape or transfer paper are just not your jam for creating stencils. You can use the Cricut Maker, which is the version I have. You don't have to have that specific version to make vinyl stencils, but I use the Cricut Maker. So with the Cricut machine, you're also going to need vinyl, which is what the stencils are made out of and what the Cricut actually cuts. You don't need any fancy sheen or color. You can just use black since you're really just going to be sticking it to the shoe and taking it off and throwing it away at the end. Having a roll of transfer tape is also essential when making a vinyl stencil so it can be picked up all in one go and you can easily transfer it to the shoe. So with all of those things you're also going to need the Cricut mats which is what the vinyl sticks do to put it in the machine to cut it. I've only ever used the green mat because I've really only ever used vinyl to cut but depending on the machine that you get it cuts different types of materials so you're going to need the other colored mats that they offer. The Cricut five piece tool bundle set is also an essential. The tweezers and weeder are what I use the most and they really help you when preparing the tiny details of the stencil. If you're wanting to try your hand at airbrushing, Angelus has partnered with Grex to create their own airbrush kit which comes with the compressor, the airbrush, the hose, and an airbrush holder. And you can also get this with a discount via the description. Angela's paints are also airbrush compatible. You just have to make sure that you mix their additive too thin with the paints to prepare it. You're also going to want an airbrush cleaning pot. This is great for emptying out your airbrush in between colors and using the cleaner to really flush out the airbrush when you are done using it. You always want to make sure you thoroughly flush out your airbrush or else you're going to get clogs of paint in your airbrush and it's going to make you so freaking mad when you're in the middle of painting and everything clogs and it won't work and you have to stop what you're doing and clean out the entire thing. This Medea airbrush cleaner works great and doesn't have any smell to it. You'll also need to have some little cleaning brushes for when you take apart your airbrush to clean. One absolute necessity that you need to invest in for when you're airbrushing is a good respirator. This protects your lungs from all the particles of paint and cleaner that get into the air. This cake stand is a cheap and effective way to spin your shoe around when you're airbrushing it. So there we have it my friends. That is every single thing that I use on on a daily basis when customizing sneakers. If you have any questions about anything that I talked about, you can leave a comment, or if you want to learn more or get one-on-one -on -one mentoring from me, you can now subscribe on my Instagram page, and there I will teach you everything you need to know about sneaker customizing, all the tips, tricks, and advice that I can give. The subscription is great for when you have a specific question and you can't find the answer on Google or YouTube and you just wanna talk to somebody, you can directly send Send me a message and I will chat with you about it as much as you need. If you have any questions about my subscription on Instagram, you can send me a message or there is also a reel titled Learn From Me right on my Instagram page where I give you all the details about what you get out of a subscription from me. And of course, every single one of these products that I mentioned can be found linked in the description and everything that is on Angelus's site automatically has a discount applied to it. You don't have to put in any type of code just shopping through that link the discount will be automatically applied thank you so much for watching and if you would like to see more content like this please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video